All right, first I want to start off by thanking everybody for tuning into the channel. This is a first look at the Breville dual boiler. This is an espresso machine that I believe many people would absolutely love and desire to have on their home coffee bar. And I definitely think it is an end all machine. So here you're seeing that I'm pulling out some of the accessories that come with the Breville dual boiler. So you have the dual wall shot, you have also the uh, single baskets, and here you have a little lock switch, which allows you to move the machine more freely and you can lock it down in place to where it won't move. You have the option of taking the drip tray off, putting it back on, just so you can clean that. And here you have a really nice range of motion with your steam wand, especially good for at all angles to steam your milk, you have the hot water spout, your steam, and your magnetic temper, which is a nice feature as well. Here you see that you lock the porta filter in tight with a pressure bar right here. Here is your water, here is your steam, and you always want to make sure to lock that porta filter in when you turn the machine on, only because you want to make sure that it is as hot as possible. So here you're going to see that the machine is blinking and the degrees are going up and all the lights will go completely solid once completely warm. Here you got a nice little compartment to where you can add your water so you don't have to take the water compartment from the back out every time. Here are accessories we'll talk about later in this series and this is just a look at one of my coffee bar setups in my house currently. So I'm about to show you right now a time lapse and all these little buttons will be glowing and lighting up once the machine is completely hot and ready. Right, so here you're gonna see the time lapse. It's gonna go up pretty quick, but on the right hand side, you're gonna see that all those lights are gonna go. You're gonna have the manual, the single, and the dual cup button as you see here. This just lets you know that the machine is completely ready. Here we're going to activate the steam wand. And now you're going to see just how powerful the steam wand truly is on the Breville dual boiler. Truly incredible as you see very dry steam capable of steaming milk, very silky and getting great latte art. Here you're going to have the hot water spout opening it and closing it. And here we're going to give you a look at what it looks like fully open and turned off. This is the pressure bar. Here you see pre-infusion, which we're going to talk about later in the series. But you're going to want to make sure that you really get to know this pressure bar as it's really going to help you dial in your espresso later on in the future. You're going to want to stay here around nine bars, but that's just to be desired as we continue on this series. So here you're just going to see a time lapse of me pulling a shot, which you will also learn later on in the series. But this just kind of gives you a workflow and how I like to pull my shot of espresso. So here you see quick WDT. You're going to distribute and tamp and you're going to lock that porter filter in. Put your scale. Scales are very important. This is the norm core scale. Place your cup and watch the extraction pull. Dialing in your espresso is definitely gonna be important, but we're gonna go over that again later on in the series. So you're watching the shot drip. And here in a second, you'll see the quality of the shot, which looks absolutely amazing. So here is the end result. Looks really nice. It tasted really good as well. Nice full body and textured with each sip. So here you're going to see the pressure gauge of the shot we just pulled. So there is the first little pre-infusion from one to three bars, which is just saturating the puck. And then it's going to ramp to full pressure. So here you see that it is at 10 bars of pressure. So it could be a little bit less, but 10 bars is still okay. As you see, it's marked in bold. And here, as the pressure goes, the puck degrades, uh, the puck becomes saturated, which is gonna lower the pressure over the time of the shot. 
and as soon as the shot is done pulling you're gonna see it goes all the way back down to zero here's just, just a look at the bottomless look so as you see here uh, not much channeling if any at all uh, you get a nice smooth even extraction no spraying which is something that you're gonna want to look forward to when diving into the rabbit hole that we call espresso So here's the final shot, the nice crema, nice rich and bold. I just frothed some milk, which I will teach you later on in the series as well, as well as pouring some latte art. So here is some latte art with the Breville dual boiler. Definitely, definitely a machine that's capable of anything that you could even think of at a home bar, and I would definitely recommend it every time. Stay tuned for more of this series to come, and I appreciate each and every one of you. If you can hit that like and subscribe, I would truly appreciate it. And as always, stay caffeinated. Peace.